Hey everybody, welcome back to the Investment Honey channel where we talk about various crypto projects. Before we begin, I want to let you know that I am not your financial advisor. I do not provide investment advice and I'm not even encouraging you to invest. But what I am going to do is share with you my own personal opinion and personal view on the project that will be discussed in this episode. So we're going to talk about MetaStorm. Um, this is a first-person shooter game built on the blockchain. You can play to earn in VR, and it is in the metaverse. So there are some different tabs that I've got open you know, that we can take a look at. Um, main, about, team, those are all up here. Uh, we've got some socials, you know, Twitter, Telegram, Medium, and it looks like YouTube right here. And then the private sale link as well. Two buttons here for deck and community. The deck is going to be the white paper. Community is going to be their Telegram. So with that said, I think the first thing that we'll do is we'll take a look at uh, the private sale. So this is going to close in 16 days at the time of the recording the video. So that's going to be on February 8th. So for anybody interested in this project, um, you know, that's just some details uh, that will be relevant for you. Um, as far as the website's concerned, I know a lot of times I'll go ahead and I'll just scroll through the website. Um, I will, but I got to tell you, I actually like their white paper uh, better than I like the website. So it's not really a knock, you know, to to you know the team or anything. Um, it's just my own personal opinion. But um, as I navigated this site I actually preferred the webs I actually preferred the white paper I felt like it was easier to follow for me so that's where we're going to go um, so we've already gone through that so here looking at the white paper I do like the way the white paper is laid out I think it's just easier to understand more about you know what the project is as opposed to looking at the website and again that's just my own personal view but it says here what is MetaStorm? It's a blockchain-based you know VR shooter game with a huge collection of modern weapons and play that players can use to equip, level up, complete missions, and earn tokens. And each player has the opportunity to build battle maps, collect weapons, and even steal unique tokens from other players. Uh, MetaStorm also works as the basis for de developing your own FPS project with any ideas. And the reason for it is that MetaStorm includes many functions. That include weapons, projectiles, uniforms, characters, various game modes, etc. So it talks about the value of MetaStorm, the game concept. It includes several game modes. One of the modes is to create your own map for play uh, to earn tokens. So I do like that there's some activity that you need to engage in to, to be able to earn the tokens. So I do like that. Uh, you can create your own cards and earn tokens when other players visit them. I think that's cool. You know, engaging other players and then there's a benefit to that as well. This talks about you know some of the maps uh, that you can customize. Uh, there is an NFT element to this. So the NFTs they give you different advantages in the game. Exclusive weapons, equipment, being able to you know acquire different skills, um, and those include like missile strike, you know, call for helicopter, etc. Which I think is kind of cool. Um, it's a really unique way to embed the or employ NFTs and connect them to the game. So here's some of the equipment, you know, the different guns, um, you know, and then there's also you know, you'll see illustration of that, you know, on the main website as well. So let's see here. And they talk about earning mechanisms, uh, you know, that uh, you know, for for players, different ways for you to be able to earn. This is the way that this you know piece of the white paper comes across to me. So looking at the tokenomics, you know, they've got a ton in terms of the supply. And they tell you, you know, what's allocated to the seed sale, private sale, public sale, you know, and so forth. There's vesting associated, you know, with this token. I do like to see that. Some people feel differently about it, but I. Feel like it helps to mitigate dumping and then they tell you about the different uh, prices that you'll be able to recognize or see at different stages of uh, the sale rounds you know up until the listing so all right and the roadmap uh, they got a lot of things going on in the roadmap um, you know obviously we can see here in q2 to q4 2021 you know um, the seed sales so they've already obviously um, you know, gone through with that because I believe we're now, yes, yeah, seats are done. So now we're looking at the private sale. So that's obviously here in Q1 of 2022, and that's where we're at. The creation of the game is coming in Q2. Um, open beta version is coming in Q2. Um, early access to the metaverse that's coming in Q3. I like that. And I do like the iOS and Android application coming in Q4 of 2022 as well. 
looks like they got a pretty uh, good sized team and decent sized team so they're all docs um, with the titles I see LinkedIn uh, links to to um, to professional profiles I would like to see more of a bio on the team members but I do like the fact that they are docs so this tab is just going to go over the team again so we're going to go through the website because I'm going to show you a couple of videos this first video honestly I feel like it's too long um, I think this video needs to be like clip to about 45 seconds because um, I just found myself you know not being as engaged from the start to you know basically halfway through so but I am going to show you the, the video and they, they have another video on this website um, I'll show you that one too I like that one a little bit better but here's the first one. Oh, let me go ahead and go back So that's the end of the first video, and then I'm going to take you to the second video. I thought maybe in the equipment they might give you a little bit more information, but they don't, unfortunately. But anyway, okay, so this is the second video. I'm not going to make that same mistake this time with this one. Um, so I'll show you a little bit of this one as well. So that's the end of the second video. Like I said, I like the second video a bit better than the first, but that, again, is just my own personal opinion. So that's all I'm going to say, really, in regards to um, MetaStorm. Um, you know, I've, I've shared my feedback in terms of, you know, um, what I think in terms of the team, um, you know, that I really would like to see, you know, a bit, just some information, you know, on the team, aside from, you know, at least on the website you know obviously when you go to the linkedin profiles you get a little bit more information there but not everybody's going to do that so just putting that information on the website just makes it you know makes the, the access to the information just faster so um you know and aside from that i don't see an audit you know associated with this token um you know so i'd like to see that i think that would help to increase buyer confidence you know in terms of you know anybody that may be interested in getting into this into this project Aside from that, you know, that'll conclude, you know, what my thoughts you know, are in regards to this project. But if you like the content that I'm releasing on the channel, by all means, please subscribe and turn on notifications so that you can be notified when I am releasing new content for the channel. There will be links in the description so that you can access the website and the Telegram community. And, um, you know, obviously I'll have some other links there too, you know, to, um, an opportunity or at least a way for you can go ahead and get some free Bitcoin as well. But um, with that said, that's going to end the video, and I appreciate you guys uh, watching my, uh, my take on this project. Thanks so much.